what you guys got another video here for you this one is on the error Windows 10 could not be installed uh, we couldn't update the system reserve partition now this is quite a common uh, issue and what this is is basically uh, it's two causes for it the system uh, reserve partition is full and it can't be written to because it's full up and this sometimes happens uh, when uh, there's third-party antiviruses and security applications uh, that write to that um, system reserve partition which could fill that partition up and the other uh, issue uh, it could be is the file system of that system reserve partition has some sort of error on it and I'm going to show you two things that you can do uh, to resolve uh, this problem now we're going to be using a piece of software uh, from Minitool it's called the partition wizard and that's what we're going to be using to resolve our issue and uh, I'll leave the links uh, for this in the video description I'll also leave some information in there for uh, the partition wizard you've seen me use Minitool many times before it's a, a very good tool to use so let's go down to the start button right click and go disk management and I just want to show you uh, the disk management area of this operating system here so taking a look at the disk management here you can see that the free space is 0% and also uh, the free space is 0 megabytes and its capacity is 540 megabytes so it's full up and uh, what happens is sometimes the third-party antivirus software uh, will write information to that um, system reserve partition the other issue if you're looking at it like this and you don't see it full or the drive is being full then obviously there's a issue with errors and stuff like that on that uh, system reserve partition and we can use a program from mini tool it's called partition wizard here now this is just a much more advanced piece of software than the disk management tool that's built into windows and they do versions here for home users through a free version and professional version and so on for home users and they also do uh, business users as well and you can check out the pricing for those if you want to purchase those uh, but they do do a free version for uh, the home user as well and we're going to be taking a look at how we can use this tool to fix our issue so let's go ahead and install uh, many tools of partition wizard here on the system and uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and quickly install here pretty painless stuff just go through next and then next again and then next and install and we're going to need to create a, some bootable media here because we can't um, edit this at the desktop so we the good thing about this tool is it does give you the ability to do that as well so let's go ahead and launch uh, mini tools partition wizard i'm just going to register this uh, version so this is the powerful piece of software we're going to be using uh, i've got my usb flash drive plugged into the computer just going to quickly format this um, mini tool will do it for me but i'm just going to quickly do it here in windows just going to put mini tool inside here and click start and let that format that drive there we go and uh any tool will deal with this anyway but I just wanted to do it there and you can see it here listed so all I need to do now is click on the bootable media tab at the top and uh, we can now create a WinPE disk uh, with this uh, piece of software as well and you can see here we've got some other options here so I'm just going to go back and click on the WinPE you can create an ISO file USB flash drive which is what I'm going to do and click yes uh, to create that it will wipe all the data on that drive so if there's any data on there make sure you've backed it up otherwise it will be formatted and this will go ahead and create our WinPE now once this is uh, completed it does take a fair bit of time so be patient but once it's been completed we should have a full bootable version of uh, mini tools partition wizard on our USB flash drive which we can boot to so that's now been completed and I'm gonna now uh, finish this off by clicking finish here so from here now what we can do is boot up to our mini tool partition wizard using our bootable flash drive which we've just created because then we can edit the system reserve area so let's restart our system so that's going to restart 
and it should take us straight into the uh, USB flash drive. Now you may need to change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive and that's pretty easy to do. I've made videos on that before but this one just booted straight up to that USB flash drive. So here we go, it's just booting up now. You will see the Windows 10 logo there. That's because we're using a, a sort of a Win uh, 10 PE sort of uh, environment here. So you should see the Mini Tool Software Limited up there on the screen. And uh, it's just gonna allow us to boot to uh, this. That's just talking about the screen resolution size here. So that's big enough for what I need here. So I'm just gonna click OK here and let that move forward. And now we can click on the top one here to boot to our partition wizard. So just click on this one and it should load up and boot to our partition wizard. There we go. So now you can see the system reserve here and uh, what we can do here is go over to the extended partition here and this will open up the extended partition box and you can see we can now change the size of our extended partition which is our system reserve now this is going to take some space from our windows uh, drive so if i pull this slider down you can see the drive size is now going to be 689 depending on how big you want it 735 megabytes you can leave it around there or you can put a gigabyte or whatever it is you want to put in there. it doesn't have to be massively huge so just put in there enough space so you can continue with the update so I'll just leave it around about here, maybe give that a little bit more so we can recognize it, maybe a, a gigabyte or something like that. And what that's gonna do is just basically taking uh, space from the Windows drive and putting that onto our system reserve. It's that simple. Now click OK here. And uh, you can see now uh, we need to apply these uh, settings by hitting the apply button and it apply pending changes and, and there we go that's going to start to uh, do this now it does take a bit of time again be be patient it will take a fair bit of time to do this so just let it do its thing and then when this is completed uh, we can reboot the system and uh, ch check out our, our reserve partition size and hopefully we can then go ahead and up update our windows 10 and it should allow us to update uh, to the latest version there you go it's just updating the partition table so that's done so we can click ok here it's uh, successfully been applied and you can see now the system reserve is uh, 1.04 gigabytes in size now again you can change this to whatever size you want now if you don't see system reserve partition and you're seeing the ESP which is your EFI system uh, partition then you're going to need to uh, delete the 128 megabytes uh, reserve partition first and then once you've deleted that it will allow you to uh, edit and change the size of the ESP which is your EFI system partition there okay and it will be the same method as I've just showed you there by uh, removing uh, some space from the C drive to the ESP drive okay or partition and that's pretty much it. So let's reboot our system and uh, check it out and see what it looks like. So we're going to reboot the system here. Uh, just shut this one down and I'll restart the system. So I'm going to restart the system back into our Windows 10. And I'll show you the second method which you can use if you don't see the drive is full and you're just seeing uh, there's some sort of error on the system reserve or ESP or EFI partition okay so what we're going to do here is let this boot up and I'll show you how to do that uh, with the mini tool partition wizard it may take a bit of time so just let it boot up here and uh, we should be okay once we get to the desktop now if you're concerned about your data you should be uh, backing up your data on a regular basis you should have a backup plan in place whether it'll be a Cronus or cloud backup or some sort of uh, other software uh, which you want to use like a Macron Reflect which is free or you can use something along the lines of the built-in Windows backup uh, software you should be backing up your data on a regular basis using that type of uh, method 
So now we've got back to our desktop here, let's take a look at the mini tool partition wizard again and I'll show you another way of uh, fixing it which is cause two of the problem which could be related to some sort of errors or corrupt uh, partition with the uh, system reserve partition which is your SRP and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, try to fix this problem with a mini tools partition wizard so let's open it up and uh, here we have our system reserve again and that's now one gigabyte as you can see here now again if you're using the other type which is your ESP or your uh, EFI then obviously you will see the same thing you'll see a bigger uh, partition there now which you've just created okay so you'll be doing the same thing as what I'm doing here so what we're going to do here is going to change the letter on the system reserve and uh, we're going to give it a letter so I'm just going to give it a letter Z and now once I've given it a letter I can now go up to the apply and apply that to uh, that drive so it now will give it a drive letter Z and we can remove this afterwards but once I've done this what I can do now is uh, right click on here and uh, we can now do a check on here so you can see here we're looking for check file system and this will check the file system now I'm going to put the radio button in check and fix detected errors and then click start and this will go ahead and try to fix any problems there and what we can do once we've completed that we can now close off this box and I'm just going to remove the uh, drive letter again because we don't need to leave a drive letter on there so all I need to do here now is quickly go over uh, to the uh, Z drive here right click on this and change letter and leave it as none click OK and click apply and say yes here to make those changes and we have now hopefully resolved our issue and what we can do now is go to the Windows update and update our system and hopefully because we've got that size there it won't be full and we should be able to update our system we won't get that error message anymore so we finished with uh, the mini tool uh, partition wizard a great piece of software i'll leave the link in the video description for you to check it out if you've got any problems with your partitions then that is a tool that you must have in your kit anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys i hope this one's been helpful to you have a great day and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.